how have you been able to add value to your team as a scrum master so that is what we are going to be addressing today i'm going to be sharing my own experience on how i have been able to add value to my team as a scrum master but before we move any further we want to take this moment to appreciate our returning viewers and subscribers you have been amazing you have been very supportive and we really appreciate you for that please continue to do what you've been doing by liking sharing and commenting and if this is your first time and you're wondering what you're doing here this is an agile platform where we discuss everything agile we share our experiences and so it's a platform for us to learn from one another so you're definitely welcome please go ahead and subscribe like share comment and don't forget to activate the notification so that whenever we upload new content you will not miss out on it okay let's go back or jump back into the topic for today how have you been able to add value to your team as a scrum master so i joined this team in the past i uh, and um, after joining this team i based on my observation i realized that the team were not meeting their spring goal they will commit to work quite all right but they won't um, deliver anything valuable to the end users so the client were not or the stakeholders were not satisfied with this so i did a root cause analysis to understand where all of this was coming from so i realized that one the team wasn't tracking their work and they had the tendency of pulling in work during an ongoing sprint so i brought this up during retrospective and suggested to train the team on metrics such as the burn down chart uh, which you know in this case we're going to look into um scope creep we're going to look out for scope creep and it's actually going to help the team to focus on the work that they committed to for the sprint that way they will be able to deliver um outcome and not output because they were delivering output before i equally suggested to train the team on the three c's which is the card the conversation and the confirmation so with this it is for the team to leverage doing their backlog refinement and sprint planning that that way they are having the right conversation asking enough questions and adding details to the user stories that they need to uh, work on so i equally encourage continuous communication even after these meetings then the last thing that i suggested to train the team on was on capacity management so that the team is just taking enough work that they can actually deliver throughout the sprint so fortunately for me the team agreed to this suggestion i went ahead and scheduled a session for this for the team to be trained so a workshop session for the team to be trained and the next thing i did was i reached out to the team's manager and my manager just to keep them in the sync and they gave us a go ahead so on the day of the training i actually trained the team on these different areas that i mentioned above and i encouraged the team for them to try for a few sprint and that we can always revisit and make changes or tweak things around if things uh, don't really um, go the way we want it to, 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 to go. So the team again agreed to try it for a few spring and they guaranteed me that if it doesn't work, they're definitely gonna go back. I said, yeah, that is the beauty of Agile. You don't have to keep doing something that doesn't add value to you. So um, while the team was trying this, I kept coaching them to ensure that you know they were <clears throat> on the same page with the things that did, that needs to be done for them to achieve this value so um the good thing is once income once work comes in which is communicated to be of high priority to the um, sprint there were there was there was some sort of negotiation around the work or trade-off that was done and we ensured that we incorporated these um, changes in our spring goal so we recrafted the spring goal to accommodate these changes that was done so conversation happened and work that was of critical was brought into the sprint and the one that didn't make most sense to the customer right away was uh, removed was equally removed so this continued this um, behavior continued the team was very conscious of their capacity and as a result they were able to just take in enough work that they can deliver throughout the sprint. And on a daily basis, once the team is having their daily stand up as a scrum master, I ensure that I'm reflecting or showing them the burn down chart 
that way i'm directing the attention towards the work that is left so they can see the work that they have burned so far and now focus on what is actually left so all of these behaviors together and them trying this at the end of the sprint we tried for a couple of sprints and we had amazing result we had outstanding result the stakeholders the team everyone was super impressed the stakeholders for the very first time gave a positive feedback um, during the very first sprint that we tried this gave a positive feedback and the second one the third one they gave positive feedback to all of these different sprints that we tried this for they were super happy so they um, advised the team would encourage the team to keep up the good work and because the team was so happy with the response or the positive feedback from stakeholders again you are experiencing this for your first time the team actually became even more motivated to do more there's uh, the business on the other hand the equally or the organization equally recognized these positive changes and um, solicited for these changes to be replicated in other teams so what i did with, with this was i scheduled a session with other scrum masters within the organization to ensure that you know i kind of show them how i've been able to add value to my team so they equally replicated this in their own teams. They tried it for a couple of sprints too. They saw amazing results as well. So, and another thing that I did was I made sure that I communicated or I shared this with my community of practice just so that people don't get to reinvent the wheel. So this is one way I have been able to add value to my team and to my organization. I hope this was helpful for you. Please use the comment section to communicate how you have been able to add value to your team so that we can learn from one another. Thank you all so much. Really appreciate you for watching and we'll catch you on our next content. Thank you again and bye-bye.